go as slow as shadow on the mic I play to win, never to lose In the contest of champions I'm the one that shoes Swipe straight down, my moves are slick Dexterity more heavily, I dodge quick Class champ, I'm the master of the game Cosmic science, skill tech mutant I claim Arena and chill grind, that's how I roll No stress, no drama, just on patrol The fight, I'm swift, my tactics excite Lost shadows in the arena, ready to ignite From the streets to the screen, my skills are renowned in the world of Marvel, I'm the King Crown. So listen up, here's the story of the champ. Lord Shadow's the name. I'm the Grime Track fan. Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. Yes, it is that time again. Time to take up some more champions. I've somewhat recovered from that massive rank up uh, that I did, but I still have to be very careful when it comes to the uh, ISO. Uh, I'm still low lower than I normally am, and so I'm not comfortable being that low. Uh, but I have enough to still rank up my champions, all right? So in this video, we've got uh, a couple of rank ups. I have one to rank uh, four. I have another one to rank five, six star. Uh, I have um, another to rank four. And then we end the video with a seven star rank two. Okay. So if you think you can guess who it is that I'm going to be taking up in this video, leave a comment below and let me know what your guess is. But we're about to reveal it in five, four, three, two, one. First one up, Nightcrawler. Now, Nightcrawler, I have liked for a while. I liked him before they changed him. And now that they changed him, he's even better than he was before. So he is going to be very annoying as a defender unless you have a good evade counter. And he's also good on offense. So he is a dual threat in Battlegrounds, especially. I have used him to complete content where I have to evade. And his evade window is pretty large. And of course, he has his own evades. He can evade some specials that you might have a hard time evading without his um evade help i would say so taking him up to rank four just made sense i wanted to get him in a position where i'd be able to get him to rank five eventually okay um still not sure about the rank fives at this point with seven stars out um but with Nightcrawler, I think he's worth the investment. And so uh, you're going to see me using Nightcrawler uh, more often. Okay. So that was the first rank up. I actually did that rank up a while back. Um, last level up. There's a level up going on right now. This was a level up ago that I took him up to rank four. All right. And now the next one is going to be Deja Vu, Nightcrawler again. So I was thinking, do I want to invest the resources to take this Nightcrawler up? But as you can see, there's an X Magica gem of four to five. So as I was thinking, you know, seven stars are out now. He is available as a seven star, but I don't think I'm going to get him as a seven star anytime soon, but I might. I will have done everything that I needed to do for the dust, except get into the gladiator circuit like three different times. Uh, I didn't get in last time. I did get in this time. And I've also gotten all of it from the store. And who knows, okay? But say I do get seven-star 
Nightcrawler. His signature ability actually makes a difference now. He actually does a lot more damage awakened. So I'm like, well, I can get this guy, Sig 200, much easier than that seven star because I'll get the seven star and who knows when I will awaken him. Eventually I will, but for quite a while, I think the uh, six star is going to be more useful. So I'm going to, I probably won't ascend the six star, but I was like, you know, I wonder if that store is still here. And it was. And I'm like, and he's ex magica. So perfect. So I did spend some units to get that gem. And to me, that cost was worth it because I can take him up and still keep my resources for my seven stars. So we've got a Nightcrawler at rank five. Eventually, he will go into my Battlegrounds deck. Um, he's not there right just yet, but he will be. Uh, maybe for next season, I'll have to look and see if he's uh, viable for uh, that meta. All right. So now the next one is one that is interesting. I had actually uh, liked this one as well for a while. And they changed him. And that is Red Guardian. So Red Guardian already had the potential. And I remember when they talked about upgrading one of these champions. And we pretty much knew that they were hinting at Red Guardian. But because of uh, certain political issues that were currently going on, and they're still going on right now, but this was new... They wanted to be sensitive. And so they did not rework him the way they had planned to. Fair enough, you know. Um, but eventually, they did. He is quite good now. One of the things that makes him very, very useful for a number of opponents is that he does not gain buffs. The other thing is that he has a very easy access to slow and also he hits very hard he has a perfect block chance so he's quite sturdy he's he's a good champion now i've only taken him up taken him up um but i will be preparing to take him up further uh i watched um j will of jason and jabari gaming and uh, in one of his videos, he also took this guy up. And I believe in his video, he maxed him out, took him to rank five. Um, not ready to do that just yet, but it's coming. It's coming. Um, I do not remember his SIG ability and whether he needs it or not. Um, but in any case, if he does, uh, I don't see him as a seven star yet. And the six star, we can definitely get to um, max sig. So that's not going to be an issue. All right. So Red Guardian is up and ready to go to the next level in, in the future sometime. All right. Now, for the last um, champion in this video, it's a seven star. And I took this seven star to rank two. And... It came after uh, a video that you guys have probably already seen now. So that's your hint. And that champion is Sasquatch. So Sasquatch has a very large health pool. So when you put him up in uh, Battlegrounds, it takes some time to chew through all of his health. Now, when he's awakened... He gets a heal when he is low in health. I forgot what percentage it is that that triggers. I think it's like 30%, 20%, something like that. And so he definitely, to be a very good defender, you want him awakened, but he doesn't need it because he's still going to have a massive health pool. So when I duped him, 
I was very happy, and that's when I pulled the trigger. Because I was thinking, well, I don't want to get him uh, ranked up until I can dupe him. So I had him at rank one for a little bit. And then I duped him. And I'm like, okay. So now he's ranked two, and maybe I'll take him to rank three. I'm not sure yet. Because I'd like to have a, a variety. You know, I currently have Domino. That's my mutant at rank three. I have Elsa Bloodstone. That's my skill at rank three. And I have America Chavez. And that's my mystic at rank three. So I might want to, you know, get a tech up there maybe, or um, perhaps a science up there. We'll see. Um, just to get, you know, have a nice little variety um, of champions. But I don't currently have a science that's awakened that I want to take up. And I'm trying to keep uh, from ranking up champions that are not even awakened yet. We'll see. All right. Anyway, that is going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you all for watching. Take care. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day. Arena and chill grind, that's how we roll. No stress, no drama, just on patrol. In the fight, he swift. His tactics be tight. Those shadows in the arena ready to ignite. From the streets to the screen, his skills be renowned. In the world of Marvel, Lord, the King Crown. Oh.